Hello, welcome to Master Matic. In this chapter, graph of function two, we will learn sketching graph of functions, graphical solution of equation and region defined by inequalities. The procedure to sketch the graph of function are step one, determine the shape of the graph based on the given function. There are four types of graph to be discussed here, which are linear, quadratic, cubic, and reciprocal. After you identify the shape of your graph, step two is to identify the y-intercept value by substitute x with zero. Depend on the function, some graph may not have the y-intercept. After the y-intercept is identified, next step is to identify the x-intercept by substitute y with Zero. Also depend on the function, some graph may not have the x-intercept. Let's see an example of linear function graph. The general linear equation is y equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. In this example, the equation is y equal to 4x plus 10. Do you notice the highest power of x for linear equation is 1? Then, for gradient value greater than 0, the line is going up. On the other hand, for gradient value less than 0, the line is going down. Step 2, we identify the y-intercept by substitute x equal to 0 into the equation y equal to 4x plus 10. y-intercept equal to 10. Then, we also find out the x-intercept by substitute y equal to 0 into the equation y equal to 4x plus 10. And the x-intercept is equal to negative 2.5. The last step is to draw a straight line through the y and x intercepts. You may pause this video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answer are provided at the end of this video. Let's see some graph of quadratic function. The highest power of x for quadratic function is 2. For example, y equal to ax square, y equal to ax square plus c, and y equal to ax square plus bx plus c. When a is greater than 0, the curve will be a small shape. On the other hand, when a is less than 0, the curve will be a set shape. And c is the y-intercept. Let's see an example of quadratic function graph. In this example, the equation is equal to y equal to 2x square plus x. Since a is equal to 2, and is also greater than 0. The curve will be a small curve. Then we compare with the equation y equal to ax square plus bx plus c. We find that c is equal to 0. Therefore, the y-intercept is at point 0. We can also find the y-intercept by substitute x equal to 0 into the equation y equal to 2x square plus x. Then, Find the x-intercept by substitute y equal to 0 into the equation y equal to 2x squared plus x. There are two x-intercepts found which are 0 and negative 1 over 2. Lastly, draw a small curve through the x and y-intercept. You may pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answer are provided at the end of this video. Let's see some graph of cubic function. The highest power of x for cubic function is 3. For example, y equal to ax cubed, y equal to ax cubed plus c, and y equal to ax cubed plus bx plus c. When a is greater than 0, the cubic curve will end with a going up position. On the other hand, when a is less than 0, the cubic curve will end with a going down position, and c is the y-intercept. Let's see an example of cubic function graph. In this example, the equation is y equal to x cubed plus a. Since a is equal to 1 and is greater than 0, the cubic curve will end with a going up position. Then, we compare y equal to x cubed plus a with the general equation y equal to ax cubed plus bx plus c. We found that c is equal to a. Therefore, the y-intercept is at 
point A. Of course, we can also find the y-intercept by substitute x equal to 0 into the equation y equal to x cubed plus a. We will get the same answer. Then, find the x-intercept by substitute y equal to 0 into the equation y equal to x cubed plus a. The x-intercept is negative 2. Lastly, draw a cubic curve through the x and y-intercept. You may pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answers are also provided at the end of this video. Reciprocal function graphs are much more easier to identify. The highest power of x for reciprocal function is negative 1. For example, y equal to a over x. When a is greater than 0, the reciprocal curve will be at northeast and southwest region. On the other hand, when a is less than 0, the reciprocal curve will be at northwest and southeast region. There are no x and y intercept for reciprocal function. See this example, y equal to 8 over x. We compare with the reciprocal equation y equal to a over x, a equal to 8, and is also greater than 0. Therefore, the reciprocal curve location is at north, east, and southwest of the graph. You may pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video. Now let's move to graphical solution of equation. This is a very easy subtopic where you will be given an equation, maybe linear or quadratic, and the value of x and y to find the corresponding value of y and x. See example 1, y equal to x minus 2. When x equal to negative 2, substitute into the equation, you will find y equal to negative 4. When x equal to 0, y equal to negative 2 x equal to 2, y equal to 0, x equal to 4, y equal to 2, and x equal to 6, y equal to 4. If you plot this x and y coordinate accordingly, you will have a linear graph. This is an example of quadratic function. When you substitute x equal to negative 2 into the equation, you will get y equal to 3. When x equal to 0, y is also equal to 3 x equal to 2, y equal to negative 5, and x equal to 4, y equal to negative 21. If you plot the x and y coordinate accordingly, you will have a set quadratic curve graph. This is an example for cubic function. Since a is greater than 0, if you plot this x and y coordinate accordingly, you will get a cubic curve and with a going up position. You may pause the video and try this question. The answer are provided at the end of this video. The last subtopic of this chapter is region defined by inequalities. First, we have to understand the meaning of these symbols, which are greater than, less than, for example, x greater than 10. The range of x will be 11, 12, 13 or any greater value. On the other hand, if x is less than 10, the range of x will be 9, 8, 7 or any other smaller values. Other two symbols which are quite similar but they are different which are equal or greater than and equal or less than. For example, x is equal to or greater than 10. The range of x will be including 10 and any greater value such as 11, 12, and 13. On the other hand, if x is equal to or less than 10, the range of x will be including 10 and any other smaller values. If an equation is greater than, let's say, y greater than mx plus c, the region of inequality will be on upper or right side of the line. On the other hand, if the equation is less than, let's say y less than mx plus c, the inequality region will be on the lower or left side of the line. See this example, the equation of the graph is y equal to 4x plus 10. 
if y is greater than 4x plus 10, the region of the inequality will be, will be above the line y equal to 4x plus 10. On the other hand, if y is less than 4x plus 10, the region of inequalities will be on the below line y equal to 4x plus 10. Another example is when x is greater than negative 2.5. The region of inequality is on the right side of the line x equal to negative 2.5. On the other hand, if x is less than negative 2.5, the region of inequalities will be on the left side of the line x equal to negative 2.5. You may pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video.